So this is why we're studying roadkill. So this uh, adult coyote um, was whacked, probably coming down this draw right here, trying to cross this road, which is supposed to be a relatively uh, slow speed road, and cars are going you know, whip on here very, very, very fast. We're in uh, uh, Thousand Oaks in Newbury Park above the CSCCI campus. Um, but this is why we do this. Right? We're curious. We, we don't want to see this happen. And so we're wondering what the effect of all of these cars going by are. So what the effect of traffic volume is, the effect of speed of these vehicles, the effect of the surrounding landscape. Uh, uh, time of year. All these factors are really, really important for us to get a good handle on uh, road kill and mortality of critters. And without this data, we just don't know. People sometimes have historically collected point source data, so noting that this individual was dead in this particular spot. But our data set is unique in that it, it does transects. So we have constant surveys. So we have the zeros as well as the incidence of kill. So this allows us to um, estimate rates and have much more realistic and much more useful predictions in terms of mortality for all these guys. So yeah, so that's so that's that's roadkill, and that's why we're we're doing this so we can, as best we can, better inform our policies so that we have fewer incidents of of mortality like this. Let's take a look at our uh, data here, you guys. Our data. Now there's a couple different tabs here. You're going to want the roadkill master. Um, uh, there's uh, Roadkill Master and there's Vehicle Count Masters uh, Master, um, and so this is uh, the main nut that you want to focus on. Um, and we're probably and you're going to need to enter some other data too. I found some other data that, that's not been entered actually a good amount. Um, but let me orient you to this. Okay, so this is our Roadkill uh, database, and uh, we start with a. Um, uh, the, the group, the class, or whoever that collected the data, the student or the person that collected the data, the date the data the date the observation was made, uh, the start time, the day of the year, the Julian day of the year, the month of the year, the year, um, how many minutes the survey took. Now, initially we were doing this a lot. Uh, I don't always record this when I do the surveys. Um, but uh, it nevertheless gives you a sense of if people are going fast or slow. The unit, and so this is a, um, a, a shorthand way to refer to the unit if you're doing graphing or something of that nature. Uh, this is the actual road um, itself, and then this is the segment. Again, what we do with our roadkill surveys is we start in an intersection and drive to another section. So each of these rows is not a single observation. Each of these rows is a single transect. Okay, so this one is on the 33 highway uh, from uh, the 101 freeway to West Ojai Avenue. Uh, it's 13.4 miles long. Uh, the maximum speed limit, or, the, or the, the, the maximum miles per hour speed limit is 65 miles per hour. It's got a total of four lanes. That's lanes in all directions. Um, and then generally speaking, 90% of this should be um, one here, meaning that all lanes are surveyed. Every one, and so if we have the 101 freeway, for example, that we go and survey, um, that you cannot see the other uh, roadbed, you have to drive it and do the lanes you can see, and then reverse that that same direction, uh, or reverse that an original direction, and count the um, animals on the other side of the lane. Now, sometimes just because of logistics, you know, going somewhere to a concert or something, we don't have time to go back and do the other side. And that's what this represents. So this represents we only got half the lanes surveyed. Uh, and this is, are there um, any signs about, you know, uh, watch out for wildlife, that type of thing. Um, okay. And then we get into the main categories. Now an organism can only be in a single category. We have large, medium, and small. And this is all defined in the spreadsheet if you look around here. But basically, um, small is uh, rabbit size, squirrel sized. Medium is uh, bigger than that. So medium would be things like bobcats, um, uh, dogs, things of that nature. And then large would be things like uh, mountain lions, deer, horses, stuff of that nature. 
Um, actually, actually, a, a large a, a large coyote would actually be would be large as well. Um, a bobcat would be medium. Um, okay, so then, so now, a lot of times we cannot tell what is either it's too smushed or the um, uh, it's just it's not safe for us to get out and look or what have you. And so in that case, we score it as a di as a death and do our best estimate as to the size. Um, so what you'll see is sometimes we have these unknown categories. So in this case, it's unknown large animal. If we saw an unknown large animal, it would only have a, a single uh, encounter here, right? It wouldn't also show up over here. Uh, medium, small. Can't tell what the species is, but it's an, a medium-sized bird. Can't tell what the species is, but it's a um, small bird, Passeriformes. Uh, hawk, unknown hawk. Uh, then we get into specifics, Cooper's hawk, red tail hawk, rough-legged hawk, etc. Um, turkey vulture, swan, all these things are explained in the species tab, species list here. Um, and, and, this, and, and so the species tab need, needs to be all redone once you guys, you know, tweak and get everything cleaned up. We, we need to really rethink about this. This is an old binning and, and you might want to use it, but you might want to modify it or might want to do something totally different. But anyway, so we, we go across and it's all these different uh, things of the categories of critters. And again, it's the number of individuals we see on that road segment on that day and time. So we get all the way over to here. And then we have the distance. So in this case, there were two small rodent kills, one small blackbird killed, two unidentified smash, smushed uh, things. Okay. And then... Uh, and so we have one, two, three, four, five distances here. Um, so if we want to do geospatial analysis, which I think we should, we need to figure out a way to um, convert this into um, uh, you know, readable by GIS stuff. And so that's, that's not impossible, but it, is, it will take a while and some thinking. And that's why I've not done it so far. Um, off to the right here, this stuff we can essentially all redo. Um, and it probably should be redone. But this is the total number of kills we saw, the kills per mile, and, and the inverse of that, the miles per kill. Um, and then this is category richness, and then again, all the stuff to the right needs to be checked. This is, this should be, one, once we get everything cleaned up and entered and everything, we probably want to um, uh, uh, redo all of these things to the right. Um, and then of course, there's any comments here. So we also see, uh, I also see live things, and I record live things. Um, and I've been doing that differently in recent years, but but in this original database, uh, the live stuff is is added in here. So there's um, I'm really the only one. Students don't typically record live crossings. I do. Um, so yeah. So the answer is we got to go through and, and clean this up and make sure everything makes sense and uh, it is good to go. Uh, and that is our uh, roadkill database. Um, uh, we also have vehicle counts where we're counting on a given road, let's see, go Canyon, let's say, we are counting the number of vehicles. Those are done in 15 minute increments, and then we multiply by four to get the total vehicle uh, traveled per hour. And we, br we break those down into motorcycles, hybrids, which are, this was originally when we only had um, Priuses as really the only real hybrid. So this is basically a small car um, uh, or a small electric car. Uh, cars and light trucks, SUVs and trucks, semis, and that would be buses and, and big, big trucks in that nature. And, uh, and so this gives us our estimate of vehicle traffic uh, uh, pressure. Um, what else do I want to say about this? Uh, yeah, so the, that, that, that's the, the quick overview. Um, so we need to start going through and clean this up. There's also a, a good amount of data that's not entered into here yet. And so once you guys get this cleaned up, it's, it's probably worth us entering that. Um, it won't take very long with a lot of you guys, probably just take a couple days. Um, but let me just note that uh, all this stuff is based on, when we do this, if you're doing any geospatial or anything, when we're doing, uh, say, the 119 freeway, it's all from A intersection to B intersection. So all these distances, right? So this, so we're going from LA Avenue to Tapo Canyon Boulevard. Uh, oh, that, is, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's assume the same one. So this is 5.9 miles from LA, or LA Avenue, right? So everything is always relative to that. And so when we enter data, sometimes we drive it, we drive it from you know LA Avenue, 
And sometimes we drive it from initially drive it from Tapo Canyon. And so the data needs to be entered in the correct orientation so that we make sure we know where the kills are. Um, on the bottom, you guys will find some summary statistics that you can use initially just to begin to get a sense of things. But again, you're going to want to redo all of the numbers, all of the calculations, etc. cetera. Um, the data stretch uh, mostly in Ventura County. This began in the Santa Monica Mountains, so you'll find the Santa Monica Mountains have the most intense um, uh, uh, sampling. But we spread across the county. We spread into the uh, southern part of Santa Barbara County, et cetera. And, but Ventura is really the main, the main focus where we have agricultural lands, we have areas next to the ocean, we have inland areas, we have mountain areas, we have lowland areas, et cetera. And all of that can be explored and you guys should explore, um, or hopefully someone will be interested in exploring that, I should say. Um, and so again, down below here, we just have some summary stuff that I've played with over the years to try to get estimates of um, how many critters are doing what, how many, how many critters are dying on different road units, et cetera. Okay, so that's our Roadkill database. You guys have a super fun time. I can't wait to see what you guys produce with this absolutely cool data set. Um, and I'm really excited to see what you guys find.